Hello everyone, Joey DeClara here from Gaming Trend. Uh, today we are here in Destiny's Rise of Iron, uh, the newest expansion for the shared world shooter. We're in the Iron Temple at the moment. Uh, we just dropped in from Orbit, and I wanted to show you guys where you can find a dormant Siva cluster in this social area. So once you come in from Orbit, you just uh, take a look to your left, and you go up this staircase here. And then you're going to stop right here on the second platform. And if you look to your left, you're going to see uh, some rocks that look easily climbable. And that's because they are. Uh, you see this wolf hanging out up there. Uh, two of them, actually, if you can see. And we're going to just, we're actually going to jump up here. Now, often, you'll probably see at this point uh, several people jumping up here. And probably how you discovered this. What we're going to do in this video is show you uh, the best route, at least, I've found in order to get up to the top of this mountain. Uh, we're going to scale this mountain, we're going to find a civil cluster right up there on one of those platforms. So, by now I'm sure you've seen plenty of people walking up here, but let's see if we can get you guys directions uh, through the best path. Now, of course, you're going to certainly die a lot, certainly make a lot of failed attempts at jumps, uh, like I'm doing right now. But basically, a couple of things you want to take in into consideration uh, don't sweat these uh, little clusters of rock here. You just want to jump right up them, but don't don't be uh, too careful. But don't be too careless. Make sure that you're standing a little further from right under any rocks, because they're often jutting out and slanted outward. And uh, if you hit the top of that, you'll just get pushed outward. Uh, and then secondly, make sure you always wait uh, if you're jumping a lot to plant your feet and then jump. Uh, if you start spamming your jumping, then you're going to end up falling down. So what you're going to do is you're going to make your way to the top of this first cluster of rocks, but then you're going to get to this area where it kind of platforms out, kind of levels out a little, and you're not going to climb these because there's nothing up, the, up there for you. So what you're going to do is go left, and you'll see about three or four platforms. Uh, you can take a look at the vista. It looks very nice. And then... Uh, Look down at the social area, very cool from up here. Bungie very known for their skyboxes. Then you're going to jump to this first one here. You're going to jump down to the second one. Jump down to the third one. And then the fourth one, you're going to jump upwards, actually. A little further to the right. If you jump down to that one, you're going to essentially have to start over. Unless they give you a forgiving uh, checkpoint, which they do at some times. Uh, sometimes they'll be mean and they'll start you right at the beginning. So now you have another cluster of rocks. You're going to be making your way left up this way and then right up the other way and then we'll uh, get to the rest of it later. So we jump up these. Now the Siva clusters are very much like your... Uh, what are they? I forget what they're called in uh, Taken King. Uh, your fragments. And... What you're going to do is jump up these clusters here. You're going to run up this ramp. And then you're going to make your way up this platform. This is where it starts to get a little harder. Like I said before, the rocks kind of jut out. And then you could end up hitting your head against them while jumping. Uh, while it won't hurt, it will send you careening down uh, the mountain. And then probably end up killing you. Alright, so now this is where it gets a little, a little tight, and it's going to be tight for the rest of the way. Now that's me falling. Now if you fall, just make sure to let yourself fall. Try and aim for any rocks that you know are under you. Uh, but most importantly, don't panic and don't jump. Don't start spamming jump, because then you're going to certainly send yourself further down the mountain. So the best thing to do when you get in these tight spots is to walk outward like this to the very edge, and then jump this way and then fall to your death, as I'm doing right now. That's alright though, what we'll probably get is a nice checkpoint. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see where we are. Alright, so I think we're at that first platform here. That's good. So, we're gonna jump these four platforms. That's one, that's two, that's three, and then again, make sure you look to the one to your right, not the one down there, and that's four. Alright, so here we are again. We're going to make this jump. It's a little hop and a little bit of a nudge forward. You don't want to push too much or else you're going to hit those rocks right there, as you saw me do before. Now this is pretty straightforward. You're going to climb up these. And then once you get to this platform here, you're going to get a view of the social area down there. You're going to turn about face. 
all the way and you're going to see these two platforms that definitely don't look like you should be jumping over there. You're going to jump to those. So we're going to choose the one to the right. I'm going to give it a little sprint and a little hop and you're good. Don't move once you've hit or else you're going to, you know, send yourself down. Now we've got one more big jump coming up. That's very difficult. Uh, and some uh, mount climbing that's very difficult. This little cluster is a little rough because you have a lot of rocks jutting out again. Just the same theme coming back. Oh, this should be good. This is a good spot for a screenshot. I'm not going to do it though because I have some terrible Taken King raid gear on. That I certainly need to be getting rid of soon. Uh, let's see. So yeah, there's the platform right there. So I'm going to actually jump down all the way. No, I'm going to jump down to... I think this one right here with the bush. Or I'm going to fall to my death. That's all right. Hopefully it'll give me some kind of forgiving checkpoint. Let's see. And here we are, right where I want to be, on this bush. Uh, so there's a platform. It's not quite high enough, so we're going to get to this one. We're going to get to the very edge. So it's really the only place you can stand. I'll clip right through my body there. We're going to jump right to that edge. Uh, I'm going to give it a little sprint and hop. Uh, at the same time as activating sprint, going to give it a jump. And there it is. So we're almost at the top now. We've got, I think, one more really rough set of platforming to go. I just failed that miserably. We're going to try that again. Just one more jump. This is definitely the hardest part of the mountain. As you can see, it's not very forgiving, uh, not giving us a lot of room. But again, uh, not following my own instructions, get to the very edge of each of these rocks so that you have more room, you have a better angle to jump in on there. That's it. I didn't really give it enough oomph there. I didn't give it enough forward motion. We're going to give it that forward motion, and we're going to get on. There we go. Now, this is very cut and dry, very easy. You just jump right to the top here. And now you're going to jump to this one with the bushes. And I think here, we're going to jump over to these. So once you find these bushy areas here, you're going to find the rock to the right. And you're going to turn around. And you're going to see these rocks that definitely don't look level, but you're going to jump on them anyway. So you jump on here. Oh, it was a little too high. Nope. Here we go. Back on the bushes. I think we're all set. And now we've pretty much made it across. All we got to do is jump up these platforms over here. Uh, and then there's the platform over there. So you can give it a jump from right here. Another one of these bushes. Give it a sprint jump if you like. And voila, you've made it. You'll see some boxes here. Don't know what that's for. And some pottery. And a nice little fire to rest your toes on. And uh, you'll find the Sigma Cluster right at the edge over there on that platform. On that uh, cliff right there. And if you want, you can take some screenshots. Again, I'm not going to take any screenshots because I have some terribly outdated uh, threads on. So we're going to wait till we run that raid and then we'll come up here again. But there you have it. That's how you get the Sigma Cluster in the social area. So thanks for joining in. Remember to check out Gaming Trend for all your Destiny news and uh, some previews and gameplay. And please join us again soon. Thank you.